it's time to get busy on the new recipe, so I stopped by the Hy-Vee grocery store in Bettendorf, Iowa to begin doing research on the new Blind Dog Elvis. Hey, you bet. Hey, tell my friends who you are and what, what you do here. My name is Stacey Mish, and I'm the dietitian here at, at the Bettendorf Hy-Vee. And what we like to do for people, we will help them with any nutritional questions that they may have, help them shop, you know, find heart healthier products, or maybe a, a fast, easy meal for dinner. Um, we do cooking classes up here, and then we also go out into the community as well. Awesome. And just teach people about healthy eating. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, I have a challenge for you. Okay. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm up for it. It's called the Blind Dog Elvis. Okay. I know. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds a little unique. It is unique, and I don't think it's very healthy. So I think we've got some really great opportunities to help my good friend and world-class blues guitarist, Ellis Kell, to make this a super healthy and very delicious sandwich. We're not going to try to trick him, but we want to show him that you can eat healthy with a couple simple changes. You bet. Are you up for the challenge? I'm totally up. Let's go see what we have in the store. Here's our first stop. Okay. Ellis loves corned beef. Now I know can be fatty, can be high sodium, Very right? High. Yep. So, so yep. what do you recommend? Well, we do have a, a new line of low sodium meats and we have actually have a low sodium Deluso ham that works very well and that would probably be a good substitute for the corned beef and okay. has great flavor. Most deli meats contain eight to 900 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is a lot. This one actually contains 350 milligrams of sodium per serving. What is that? That looked like an amateur's portion. What was that all about? <laughs> I was saving it for you. Well, you can't really taste the difference, can you? There's no way I would know this was low sodium. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, it's a very good one. So this will be great for Ellis. He won't know what hit him. Okay. Perfect. So you got that done. Yeah. Now um, the next ingredient. We need a wrap. He loves wraps. We need some sort of wrap that's healthy. And he's eating this whole wheat wrap, but I don't think it's got. A, I think it's high sodium and carbs and. I don't think it's right. We have some great ones that are great and high in fiber over in the health market. You want me to show you those over there? Yeah, you want to race? Yep. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the race was on to the Hy-Vee Health Market where we found the high fiber wraps of love. We have some high fiber tortilla wraps and they are made with 100% whole wheat flour. Love the high fiber. And listen, if you're diabetic, Aren't high fiber foods better for you? Yep, it helps keep the blood sugar at moderate levels so you won't have any high or low blood sugars and it keeps it stable so this is a very good product to have for a diabetic. High fiber, low carbs, smart and delicious. Yep. I love it. This is going to be great. <laughs> Sounds good. Again, and I don't think he'll know that we've done anything. Well, hopefully he won't. And uh, we, That's what I like about healthy yeah. foods that you can add good nutrition and still make it taste good. Awesome. Okay. I'm so excited What's about this. What's the next this. ingredient then? Okay, so next stop, aisle nine, where we learned about eggs and cheese. Okay, I just gotta be honest with you, Stacy. When I look at this and I see all of these eggs here, I'm really happy and confused. I'm just not sure. I mean, I see brown eggs, white eggs, yellow eggs, omega-3, large brown. And the basic egg has great nutrition, even in the yolk, which some people maybe tear off a little bit more. But um, there are actually some eggs, such as the Sparvo Farms eggs, that have added omega-3s. So those omega-3s are very heart healthy, great for kids, and giving us a lot of good nutrition. So we're gonna bump up the nutrition in the conventional egg and steer towards those eggs. So those heart healthy omega-3s are added to this in a very absorbable form, EPA and DHA, that you want. So if you don't like fish, try these eggs and get these good heart healthy omega-3s in them. Um, and they're also good with lutein, beneficial for the yeah. eye, and rich in vitamin E that prevents cholesterol absorption. So this awesome. is a good one that we can do. And if we want, we can bump up and just use an egg white to get a little bit more protein um, to kind of make the egg stretch out a little bit more. I think that's a great plan. I think one whole egg and one egg white scrambled up, I think that's the key. And great flavor in it, too, yeah. for getting the yolk. Now, Stacy, do you know how I check to see when eggs are at the peak of freshness? Show me. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> what you do is you open the carton like this and you grab some eggs. Like this. And the trick is to look at them. <laughs> That's how I tell if an egg is ready. Yeah, I think I'll try that. Okay. <laughs> you want that far? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> we'll just put those back. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, listen, Stacy, let's check out some cheese. Okay. Swiss is his favorite, but I know that can be high in fat. So what do you recommend yeah, for that? Let's look right over here. We have the, the cheese slices, and there are some new lights out that are reduced in fat and even lower in sodium, too. This one's made with a 2% milk. This one's provolone. We want the Swiss. Here's the Swiss. Um, we only have 30 milligrams of sodium in here, 60 wow. calories, so it's a great cheese. Sometimes if you go fat-free, they really don't taste like cheese. They right. have added sodium in them. They don't melt. So if we go a balance between the reduced fat by using that lower fat milk, that's a great substitute for it. I'm in. That sounds great. Okay. We can try this one out too. Well, let's head back to the kitchen and uh, meet Ellis and Ann and uh, we'll get cranking. Okay. Sounds let's good. Go. Thanks. Perfect. We're off to the Hy-Vee Club Room, a professional kitchen where Ann and Ellis are waiting for us.